This week, we catch up with my green car as they roll down the road to customer discovery. They've been getting pickier, only interviewing people they believe would use a personalized fuel economy app when purchasing a car. People like cost-conscious car buyers, folks who love the earth, people obsessed with seeing their own data, and people who want the world to know how green they are. They're finding the people who care about fuel economy, and that's good. They've done probably 20 to 25 interviews. That might be enough for a single customer segment. But my green car has four customer segments, and not enough interviews to know if any one of those are truly viable. And the LabCorp instructors are noticing. Cover it water ground. Probably too much. We're just collecting all this information, but it's tough to know what to do with the information because it's not focused. What do we want to truly evaluate? What do we want to truly get an answer to? You know, one of our major goals is to train the scientists, like how to think like a business person, how to apply the scientific method. Russell challenged the team to focus and to model out their best, most concise business to date. Car financers. It was a struggle. So again, Sam, I, I don't think we want to just recreate our old business model campus. We want to put our best foot forward. Right. They're kind of wallowing right now. I don't think they feel like they have a plan. And Nihar, like one half of the entrepreneurial lead team, is gone. He's on vacation, and the team still needs to explore the other half of their two-sided market. So there's kind of like the consumer side of the market, and then there's the payer side of the market. And we've literally talked to one payer. We've talked to one car dealer, and we're three and a half weeks into the program. You just caught that big yawn. 